Hey YouTube, it's Mimi LeVay and welcome to my channel. As you guys can see by the title, we are going to be talking about standards and why y'all, it's a must. To have standards y'all you can't be going through life without no standards baby because if you do you will get stepped on and stooped on okay anyway let's get into the video <laughs> Um, so this is not gonna be like a tips video but I did write down some notes on like stuff that I want to touch on um, just so I don't like forget about like some of the important shit that I want to talk about but y'all you have to have standards you gotta have my give me my money give me my standards period you have to have standards y'all because guess what if you don't stand for something baby yeah what they say you will fall for anything okay you have to have standards y'all before i um like when i was young when i was like a teenager when i was like 19 20 stuff like that y'all i didn't have no fucking standards like i had standards for myself and like but I didn't have standards for how like other people treat me, if that makes sense. Like I had standards for me. I didn't have standards. It's, and I'm talking about specifically, I'm talking about men. I didn't have standards for how men treat me. You could treat me any kind of way and we still was going to be, I still was going to be with you. I was going to let you come back. I was going to forgive you. Like that was how I was back then. Like I didn't have no standards. I thought if you don't cheat, that's the only, that's the standard. Because I was so used to getting dogged out and cheated on by everybody that I dated. Like, you know? So, to me, that was like, as long as you don't cheat, that's it. It took for me to be in a long-term relationship to realize st the standards that I want for myself. The standards that are important to me. And when you, when you set standards for yourself, you have to remember that those standards are your standards. And nobody is obligated to meet your standards. Nobody has to uh, meet your expectation or meet your standard. You take responsibility for your standards, your expectations. And you say, when a person don't meet your standards, okay, it's time for me to set a boundary or it's time for me to leave, period. You don't, you don't try to make somebody change, y'all. That was the mistake that I made with my um long-term relationship like constantly trying to change him constantly trying to wait it out and see like if he if it will get better you can't change nobody people are only going to change on their own only thing you could do is set your standard and stand on it when you set a standard when you set expectations you're responsible for those expectations you can't leave somebody else responsible for things that you want and how you want to be treated because guess what if you try to leave it up to somebody else you're going to be disappointed every time now when you sit there and say okay these are my standards i'm responsible for them which means guess what i'm taking responsibility which means that when you don't meet my standards and when you don't meet my expectations you have to go boo period like that's just what it is and i think a lot of people they have these standards and this is where people get it misconstrued they have these standards and they think that somebody is obligated to meet those standards baby nobody's obligated to meet your standards but you so when somebody when somebody fucks up and they go you know cross a boundary or whatever that's when it's time for you to say, okay, am I going to sit here and worry about, oh, I like him so much. Oh, I, I, me and her are so, we have so much fun together. Am I going to think about that or am I going to go back to my standards? Because I set those standards in place for a reason because those standards are important to me. I don't like to be treated this way. I don't like to feel like that. So I set standards in order to make sure that I don't have to feel like that because honestly, y'all, life is just too fucking short for you to be not happy. Like, for you to not be living your life, for you to not be enjoying your life, for you to be dealing with people who hurt you or make you feel bad, y'all, life is way too short for that. Like, that's why standards are important because your people, when you meet your people, they gonna meet those standards, you know? And if they don't meet those standards, when you set a boundary, they're going to respect that boundary because those are your people, period. You know, like, when you when you set standards are so much more important than people than people think they are because like I said you go through life when you have standards you go through life more happy 
You feel better. You deal with people who actually genuinely love you. You deal with people who are your people. You don't need to sit here and lower your standards for people because guess what? It's not going to end up well in the end. You're not going to be happy. You're going to be miserable because you're lowering, lowering your standards. And this is not even your person or this is not even, these are not even your people. You lowering your standards because you like something about them. But guess what? You're going to like something about somebody else one day. You, you're always going to like something about somebody that's not strong enough. And it shouldn't be strong enough for you to continually lower your standards or let a motherfucker cross boundaries and stuff like that. Like that right there, y'all, that was something that I struggled with so bad. And like I said in my last video, I'm not talking at y'all. I'm talking damn near to myself because literally these are things that I have struggled with. Like I wouldn't get on here running my motherfucking mouth about something I don't know about. These are things that I know, okay? And these are things that I have struggled with. And these are things that I have learned and turned around. And you know what I'm saying? That I'm some things I'm in the midst of still changing. Because at the end of the day, y'all, if you don't have no standards in this life, you will not live a happy life. You know, and that goes for, damn, ooh. Ooh, I'm sorry, y'all. But that goes for everybody. That goes for family. That goes for friends. That goes for um, men. That goes for everybody. Like, and that goes for yourself as well. Because guess what? If you sit up here and you don't have no standards for yourself, like, oh, you know what? I, I'm going to go from couch to couch. And you don't have a standard, you a grown, you a grown ass adult and you walking around thinking it's okay to go from couch to couch instead of saying, you know what, this is a standard for myself. Because that's one thing about it. People be setting goals, but they don't set standards. You need to be setting standards because guess what? When you say to yourself, okay, this is a standard for me, you're going to be trying to meet that standard. It's not a goal. It's a standard. This is something that I hold myself to. I'm not bouncing back and forth from couch to couch. No, I need to have my own shit at all times. And then as soon as you bouncing back from couch to couch, something gonna, something gonna go off in your head and be like, uh, no bitch, you supposed to have your own shit at all times. That's what you, that's who you are, period. Your standards are who you are. That's who, that's your identity. Like, obviously it's not your full identity, but that's how you define yourself in a certain way because you you have this standard for yourself that you're gonna have to stay up in alignment with that's just like if somebody's a smoker if you smoke cigarettes it's gonna be hard for you to quit if you keep walking around saying i'm a smoker because guess what that's something that you have to stay consistent with i'm a smoker now if you say i don't smoke i don't smoke cigarettes that you're gonna be more likely to be successful quitting cigarettes because you have changed your identity Tony Robbins, y'all, look him up. <laughs> Period, look him up. That's my dog. But no, for real, like, you really have to make an identity shift. You really have to set standards for yourself. Stop setting goals, set standards. Standards is what's gonna help you get where you, where you need to go because you're gonna say, damn, this is not a goal, baby. This is something that, a must. This is like, like, okay, I need to wash my ass every day. That's a standard for yourself. If you don't have that standard, you're not gonna wash your ass every day because it, you don't. It's not important to you. Standards are imp one of the most important things to us. That's why we always gonna make sure we meet those standards. Whereas when we set goals, it's just something we wanna do. No, when you set a standard, baby, that's something you need to do. That's something that you have to do. It's your standard for yourself. Okay, I need to make sure my hair is done before I leave out this house. That's a standard. And you always going to do it. You more likely to do it than if you say, okay, my goal is to do my hair every time I leave out the house. You're not going to do that shit every day. Now, if it's a standard and you hold yourself to that, I hold myself to the fact that I will never leave out my house without my hair done. Because Monique might be out here any motherfucking wear. Any <laughs> no, but for real, like, you know, like, those are standards. It's a difference between goals and standards and standards i feel like if you are struggling if you are a person who struggle with uh meeting your goals and stuff like that get you some standards it will help i mean it might help i know everything don't work for everybody but get you some standards and see how it works period 
So like I know when you when you hear the word standards, I know people always think about like relationships and stuff like that. It's not always about that. It's also about what I just touched on, like you know, set standards instead of setting goals. Set standards for yourself. You know, I will never I will never go this place without any money. I will never go out of town without no money. I will never be flued out by future without no money. No, baby, I have to have my own money because if you put me out your house because we're not having sex, baby, I have to be able to get home. Okay, those are standards. Like, you know, period. So, you know, set standards for yourself, not goals, and have standards for people who, who you allow in your life and who you allow in your space because... Like I said earlier in the video, y'all, it's too motherfucking, life is too short and life is too beautiful beautiful for you to be sitting up here miserable than a motherfucker dealing with people who make you feel like shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, fuck that. And your standards is going to keep that in line. Because guess what? I don't deal with people who make me feel like shit. You know, period. Because I don't make myself feel like shit. All goes back to self-love. Make yourself feel good. You only going to want people around you who make you feel good. Or who not make you feel good, but add to you feeling good. Because nobody else can make you feel any kind of way. You know what I'm saying? That you already not feeling. You know? Like, I mean, people can make you feel emotions. But what I'm saying is nobody can make or break how you feel unless you already feel that way. If you're not happy, the best person can come into your life. They can be doing every fucking thing that you want them to do. You could be so in love with them. And y'all, I promise you, you will still not be happy. The happiness will only last for so long. And then you're going to go back to your bullshit, your miserableness. You're going to go back to all the bullshit. Like, so you have to realize that it all starts within yourself. If it ain't in here, baby, it is not going to work. Nobody's going to be able to do anything for you that you have not done for yourself. And especially happiness. Like, I'm just a firm believer in take responsibility for your own life. Take responsibility for your own emotions. Stop leaving it up to other people. That's just like people will be like, like people who deal with like narcissists, for example. They will deal with a narcissist and they will be like, I thought if I be a good person to that person, I was because I was such a good person to that person, they would never do that to me. Because I was a good person. That's not how it works, baby. You have to be responsible for that. So that means even though you're a good person, you can continue to be a good person. But guess what? When, that, when you see that that person is not respecting you and not caring for you and not loving you as a good person, you need to cut it off because you're responsible for that. You, you can't leave it up to them and say, okay, if you're not being nice to me by tomorrow, then you need to cut yourself off. That's not how it works, baby. They ain't going to do it. They're going to keep continuing to take, 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 take until you stop giving. And that's having standards. You know what? I don't give a fuck how much I like somebody. I don't care, you know, I don't care what, the, I don't care how good of a heart I got. I don't care about none of that when it comes to my standards because guess what? If you're not meeting my standards, if I'm feeling like I have to lower my standards for you, any of those things, you have to go. Because guess what? I'm not going to be sitting here wasting my time on you lowering my standards when, <laughs> baby, my man is out there waiting for me. I can't sit here and be focused on you. <laughs> Period. Like, and that goes for everybody. My friend is out there, my best friend that's going to be my lifelong friend is out here waiting on me and I'm dealing with your crusty ass focused on you and you ain't doing nothing but dogging me out doing everything in the book that I asked you not to do. And that go for family too. Because honestly, we got family out here that we ain't even met yet. And I'm talking about, I'm not talking about blood relatives. I'm talking about my damn camera turned off. But anyway, we have family out here, soulmates, y'all. Not blood relatives. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about your life partners. Not life partner, but y'all know what the fuck I'm trying to say. Like, People who are, like, meant to be your family. Like, we have people out here that are, that we supposed to be thriving with, that we supposed to be around. And we be wasting our time on people who don't even fucking like us and we don't like them either. Why keep dealing with that instead of going and finding your people or letting your people gravitate towards you? Like, 
that's just living a miserable ass life and a lot of us be choosing to do it and then not taking responsibility for it you have to take responsibility for your own emotions you have to take responsibility for how you allow people to treat you because at a certain point people like even like people who love you even gonna start saying shit at this point we can't blame him for treating you like that at this point we can't blame her for treating you like that at this point it's on you because you continue to let them treat you like that you have standards you can hold yourself accountable for how you allow somebody to treat you you know and you and you won't be putting it off on everybody else well i was a good person to them da, 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 da. that doesn't matter to people baby especially not no damn narcissist narcissists don't care how the fuck you treat them that's the point that's why they were there because they like how you treat them they like what you gave to them they didn't like you they didn't love you so that doesn't really matter how you treated somebody i've done that my damn self oh but i treated them this way treat them girl that don't matter it don't matter how you treated them a narcissist is going to do narcissist shit, period. So, yeah, have some standards for yourself. Be responsible for your standards. Be responsible for your emotions. You know, that's when you start to get um, emotionally mature. When you start to take responsibility for your own shit, when you start to say, okay, I'm setting standards and I'm sticking to them. When you start to say, I don't care what the case may be, I'm not going to lower my standards because that's, the reason I have these standards is because I want to meet my people. The reason I have these standards is because I want to come into contact with people who treat me how I like to be treated. The reason I have these standards is because I want to enjoy my life. I don't want to be miserable. Like, you know? So, yeah, make sure you have standards in life, y'all. Standards is so important. It's one of the most important things, you know, Loving yourself is very important, but if you don't have no standards that come along with loving yourself, it's pointless because you still allowing so much stuff and you still really not loving yourself because you don't have no standards, period. So make sure y'all have some standards, set some standards, figure out what's important to you, get clear on them and take responsibility for your standards, y'all. Please take responsibility. Don't leave it up to... Tutu them. Tim Tim them. <laughs> Tutu. Don't leave it up to nobody. Okay? Don't leave your standards to nobody else because they are not responsible responsible for it. They are not obligated to meet those standards. You are the only person that are responsible for those standards. Period. But y'all, that wraps up this video. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will definitely be seeing you in my next video. Bye.